I guess that the last video, so I must have hit the button. Um, so I'm heading up the stairs here for the exterior entrance to this basement unit. And so this door right up here at the top of the stairs goes into the laundry room for the upstairs unit. And then I'm back here where the garages are. And there's like a covered breezeway here. Uh, and then here's one of the little storage units you were talking, it was unlocked. So I was able to peek in there. And just for your reference, like immediately to my left here is the little playset for your reference. And then to the right here, it, it's a little storage unit, but it's got, there's an air conditioner in here that is, no, that's for the other unit. There's a room next door. So that air conditioner unit is cooling the storage on the other side and blowing hot air into here. Uh, but there's a little baseboard heater here too with a thermostat. But this room is probably six by 12 feet. I don't know why it's conditioned. I guess you could use this as a little, a little office space or something, but there's no windows. Uh, then coming back through here, they've got like a little garden area here with irrigation and then just peeking in this. I don't know if you, yeah, there we go. You can kind of see in there. This room actually looks pretty nice. It's got uh, some laminate or wood flooring. There's speakers wired in there and there's an entrance from the, the main garage to get in there. So this would actually be a nice little office for somebody. It's got a wall heater and that air conditioner. Um, I don't know if I got cut off on that last video, but the the keys for the garage are different. It's a different key. And so I don't have that. I couldn't get into the garage. So specifically addressing whether or not you could turn that into a unit, I can't give you a bunch of specifics, but I can give you an idea of what that would take. Um, obviously you'd be doing framing and plumbing and electricity and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but one thing that could be helpful for you is that your, your plumbing clean out is right here and the garage is about 10 feet away right here. So that means your main sewer line is very close to the garage. And you're going to have to cut concrete and dig and get that in there. Um, but with it being that close, it, it's going to be less of a hassle. Um, there's already power to the garage, but I can't tell you how much. Usually a big, a big steel building like this, uh, they, they bring out a decent amount of power, but I, I don't know how much power is in there. But for a little, if you're doing a little like studio apartment, you could have 60 amps and that would be plenty. If you're doing a little two bedroom place, you probably need like a hundred amps. And if that's the case, you'd probably need a uh, separate service out there, meaning that you'd have to call the power company and have them come out and pull service there and put in a new meter, um, which can be expensive, but in the long run, if you get it all permitted and do it right, it's gonna be worth much more money. So I've, I've, from personal experience, I would tell you that you should do that from the get-go. It's gonna be much less expensive to do it now than it would be to do it later. Um, so the drains are gonna be your biggest challenge because drains have to be graded and you're gonna have to cut through the concrete to get the drains out there. So uh, that's gonna be the biggest expense if you turn this into an apartment. Um, with it being a steel building, sometimes the construction of those can be kind of funky to, to frame out in there and make it feel like it's a, a little apartment. So I don't know what that's gonna look like. So I'm, I've, I, I can, actually I can see through this window. I should have mentioned that I looked in there a little earlier. Let me see if I can give you a better look. No, that's terrible. Let me try with, without the screen. can't see much but you can see that there's some shelving in there and then there's a door to that kind of office space over on that side but yeah it's definitely possible I haven't looked at the uh, at the zoning for this lot so whether or not the city would let you do it is a different story I'm just I'm sorry I'm just <laughs> taking a video of the side of the garage while I'm talking um, but ideally, if you if the lot supports it and you can add another unit and get everything permitted, that's going to give you far more value than if you just kind of throw something in there and hope nobody notices. So anyhow, uh, in relative terms, I think you got a good deal. This is a nice little place. It just needs uh, a couple little things to, to get it really rent ready. But it's got, I mean, back here you've got steel siding and that's going to last forever. Uh, yeah, I think you did all right. So anyhow, let me know if you have any other questions.